Hey everyone, it's Matania from AmphiEngineer.com again. Uh, this video is going to go through a really, really, really simple stuff um, with Photoshop. Um, maybe I talk too much about kind of the average to advanced techniques with Photoshop. And I haven't covered the really basic stuff, so I thought I'd do that in this video. So I'm going to be going through a few techniques in this video and maybe a few in the next video too to just get your Photoshop foundations right. Um, this is just for the purpose of Teespring, so but it can be applied for other things. So if you someday decide to make brochures and stuff for companies, I mean, if we can apply the same technique. So in this case, I've, I've searched, um, you know, free dog silhouettes. So I found one over here. So I'm, I'm with a Mac, I've got a Mac here. So all I have to do is just do this and it's, it's copied that. So control, uh, command and, no, com control, command and four does that. And now command and V will paste that for me in Photoshop. So we want to get rid of, so this this right here, we're in Photoshop, so this right here is the magic wand. Um, and you basically just select um, a color and it'll select all the color, all of that color around the image. So if we select black, it'll select the black color. If we select white, it'll select the white color. So we want to get rid of the border, so we select the white and we press the delete button and now we're just left with a silhouette of the dog. So if we're going to be putting this dog on a black shirt, so let's say the background is black. can't really see the dog, can you? So what you want to do is you want to invert the color. First of all, let's get, get rid of this. The white. Nope. So what that's doing is it's kind of saying, it, it's selecting all similar colors. Oh no, no it's not. There you go. So let's like this. Okay. Um, all right, back to the dog. So what we want to do, we've copied and pasted it from whatever our source was, and we want to put it on a black shirt, right? So we don't want it black. Let's say we want it white. So what you have to do is just invert the black color. And to do that, um, you can. Uh, you, you can invert from here. Filter. Like I said, I usually set up all my shortcuts. So um, normally, all I have to do is maybe it's here. Oh, normally, all I have to do is press Command and I, and it'll invert it for me. So if it's black, it'll make it white. If it's white, it'll make it black. Or you could select the actual picture, select the paint tool. And you know, change it to yellow if you want it yellow. Change it to red if you want it red. Or pink, whatever. Blue, boom. Black or dark gray. And there you go. You can select any color you want. Um, so, you know, that's selecting. That's changing the color, inverting it. You can. So what I did to change the color is you got to select. The outline of the image, so you got to select the layer it's on, which is this one where my arrow key is. You press Command, and you keep your on Command, and you select the palette, and it'll select the selection, and then you can change the color of it. And press Invert again. Um, so now, if I want to make it larger, I can press Command and T. I think that's short for Transform, and we can make it. We can make it larger. Press Enter. We can do Command and T again, and this time we can rotate it. Pretty cool. Um, we can even flip the selection, so we want it the other way. See, we just mirrored it on the other side. So that for me, that's Command and L, um, Control and L. It should be all here somewhere. Snap me, filter. No. No, but you get the idea. So that's that. What else can we do? Change the color. Yeah. So what you normally find is making a design. There's a lot of copy and pasting at the start. Lots of copy and pasting, resizing, changing the color, adding a bit of text, making it look pretty. It's just really basic functionality, right? So um, it's really simple stuff. You should get you started if you add a bunch of different pictures there. Um, I'm sure the, the picture will start coming a bit, coming out a bit better. 
normally what I do is have it just white and um, add a few love hearts or something you know it's really basic stuff but um, yeah you get the idea try it out